Hey guys, what's up? Today, I'm going to be going over the top five girls I've slept with. Number three would shock you. Hey! Who changed the script? Sorry about that. Today, we're actually going to be going over the top five loadouts in Warzone for solos and specific. And by the way, as well, so there's no gameplay, I'm sorry, I just don't have time to get it. But I will put images on screen as I talk about it. We got number five. So, this is the worst Warzone, in my opinion, build, which is the Fara and the Mac 10. This is a B, by the way. Okay, Mac 10, we all know is good. If you played Warzone, you're probably watching this video. Mac 10 is good. But, why is this build bad? And the thing is about the Fara. Is the Fara? It's got recoil on it now. They did nerf it. And the thing about the Mac 10 is you gotta reload it really a lot. I think it's <laughs> done. The Fara's got recoil, and more or less, it is basically a cop out for the Amax MP5 or the M4A1 Bullfrog or something. It's a cop out for other loadouts. Number four. Reminder: This is an opinion, by the way. Just don't get mad at me. The Amax MP5. I know you guys are gonna yell at me here, like, hey man, so be nee, nee, nee. No. Look, Amax is good. But it's got a recoil on it, and if you're on console, like me, it's not easy to always adjust to it. And as well as, in my opinion, there are better options. Now, don't get me wrong, Amax is good, MP5 is good. They're a good bit, it's a good build, but I just don't think it's the best build. Especially when someone who's more skilled can win with a different build. Even the build being the OTS 9, I think it's cracked out the way. Number 3. We got a personal build of mine. The M13 MP5. MP5 is going to be used a lot here. So, what is it about the M13? A lot of people are like, oh my god, what's wrong with you? It's a trash gun. You know? Trash, trash, trash. Okay. Um, M13 is a one of the few Modern Warfare assault rifles that on its own doesn't have any recoil. So, if you're on controller or even keyboard and mouse, you don't need to. You just point and shoot. And it's also got a um, pretty good fire rate on it, too. A max and all up to 45 bullets. I believe there might be more. I don't have it. I don't play much Modern Warfare. And the M13 can hold up to 50 from what I don't. I haven't fully leveled it up yet. God, this is uh, bad lighting. There, there, that's bad. Um, but then about the um, MP5, we all know MP5, good SMG, 45 bullets or 30 bullets, but not if you're what kind of mag you're using. Um, really good fire rate, good SMG, all around good. Better options if you're more skilled, but the go to. The M13, if you use it like most of their assault rifles, like when I have a, a assault rifle SMG build, it's usually some three times or more scope and then an SMG. I don't ever use an assault rifle as a close range weapon, but not often at least. And this is kind of the LC10 because that thing's really just an assault rifle. It's pretty good. Moving on to number two. We have the Car 98K sniper version, not a marksman version, sniper scope, all of that. And the MP5. MP5, just like we just talked about, every reason why Car 98K comes in ahead of the M13 because of the aspect of the one shot headshot. It's a sniper, it's supposed to kill you in one shot. Now, of course, if you're balanced in the Swiss, which being the most overpowered superior weapon, but I find the Swiss better with an LZ10 than an MP5. Cold War MP5, screw that thing. It's not as good as the Modern Warfare MP5, if you ask me. It's still good. Um, but, uh, what about the, uh, if we're gonna go through gun statistics, this gun's really old. So, go back to World War II days. I got a Cod 98K German side. If you're on the German side, in World War II, the Nazi side, I shouldn't be able to say that, but I'll probably get banned. Don't, 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 YouTube, don't you. Dare. By the way, I just hit frickin'. I just sent you that for the memes. Um, but uh, it's a no. It's a really, really old gun. If we're going that way, 
So obviously, it isn't as good as a weapon as like other guns. And it's not actually a sniper, it's a marksman rifle, but... Playing with serious? God, it's bright. I'll hurt your eyes. Back to it, though. Um, it's not a sniper. It's a marksman weapon. It's not meant to one shot the body. Which is why the Swiss is better. Because it's a sniper. But still, Car 98K is good. Number one. Guys, I just gotta say this. This is the best weapon in Warzone. But you know what? It's not free. You spend $20. No, it might be more. I'm not sure. And you get an account with a name bot. Doesn't matter what the load it is, you get an account with a name bot. That is number one. And anyway, guys, see you later. Nah, I'm just kidding. The number one build in Warzone, in my opinion, is this weird build here. Is a street sweeper or a gallon with an AK. I'm cool. Tim, if you're watching this, I know you're gonna yell at me for the AK. If Tim is tagged out there, she looks this. Funny. I'm just making a joke. He's not watching this. But the thing about it is, is the AK is a skilled gun. What you do is you put a three times scope on it, but the gun's got major damage is so high, it outreaches most sorrowful. Everyone goes with the Craig, I don't know what's everyone with the Craig, Craig, Farah, Amax, Kilo, Draw, I don't, Ram, M13, M48, or even the FFA, but that's more of an SMG. The thing about the AK is I see a lot of people talking to the AK, not just going back, go back. Gallo, we know, close range, do, 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 dead. Shut The AK. This is a build that we have recently experimented with. Um. Here's the thing. And, like, think about it. Most assault rifles, you go through the entire clip to kill someone. And that's with body shots and headshots. I bought the thing, bam, bam, crack. Bam again, dead. It's like ridiculous. It, it does so much damage. I say crack because I play the game, so it's broken the I have, like, usually like, 10 bullets. Broke your arm, almost killed him, run out with my gallo, bang in the head. That's why it's good, because the gallo works well with it. Like the other guns are just cohesive. They're one gun and another gun that don't work fully together, but you kind of need them to. The current idea of getting them if I'm gonna go snipe, I'm gonna run across the map. Give me a second. Alright, I'm here. Oh, he's armored up. Mm -hmm. oh, dang, dang it. M14. Ooh, broke his armor. Coming over, boy. I'm coming. Give me a second. Give me a second. Alright, I'm close enough to shoot the SMG. Now, what is the other one? Oh, yeah, the AMAX. Okay, the AMAX, I'll give you credit. You can usually laser them before <laughs> they armor up. And the number five, though, I don't know what I'm going to call them. Oh, yeah, the Far Mac 10. <laughs> Good luck hitting your shots for the Far You're going to use the Mac 10. But the thing about the AK is the AK and the Gallo work together. That's kind of the point. Side note, this is a cringy video and I know that's the point of it. <laughs> Get back to it. The AK, it takes skill and it definitely for, is not for some people. But if you find the AK off the ground and you find yourself liking it, make a class with the thing, trust me. I've gotten a few dubs with this thing. Just this cap up so... You go in there, bang, bang in the head, they're broken, you run in with your gal by the time they're armored up, or if they're not, you run in, bang, 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 if they're armored up, if they aren't, it's just a shot to kill. The thing is, um, it's pretty overpowered. You guys want a part two, top five Warzone builds, including the perks and uh, lethals? Let me know down in the comments below. And also, if you guys want a top, top five Warzone weapons for quads and duos, because I just did, I just did solos, mind you. I know they're not cool. Anyway guys, this was a stupid video. That was the point of it. It was kind of a side video because I had nothing else to do. I figured I might as well upload it. And uh, anyway guys, yeah, see you later.